Celtic player Simon Donnelly has claimed that Sunday's derby match will come too soon for Kyogo, going what is heard. But this could be Celtic mind game. And Joe Hart has revealed that he could have been a Celtic player in the summer of 2020. A year earlier than he made the move from Spurs. Speaking on Go Radio, former Celt Simon Donnelly seemed to hint at some backroom knowledge he has that the Japanese striker could be back very soon. In a message that will delight the Celtic fans, Donnelly said, he's been out for three months and three days. Since pulling up in Celtic's Boxing Day clash at McDiarmid Park, the Japanese striker has been out with a hamstring injury. Postacogla has never put a date on his star man's return, however, he has said he was a few weeks behind David Turnbull, who made his return against Ross County. He went on to say, I have heard that he is back training but I think Sunday may come too soon for him. I think maybe they are looking more at the Scottish Cup semi-final. I think that might be more realistic. Jack Mumakis is in top form. A hat-trick in his last outing, and I think he would have the jersey anyway on Sunday. I think Kyogo is the best striker at the club but he is not fully fit. Celtic faced the most pivotal part of their season so far with three Glasgow derbies that will decide the outcome of the league and Scottish Cup, having Kyogo back for at least two of those fixtures would be a massive boost to Angie Postacogla's hopes of a domestic clean sweep of trophies in his first season. Celtic are lucky to have Jakumakis in top form and Maeda also excelling. The pair will most likely start with the Japanese international out wide. Back in July 2020 Fraser Forster had decided not to return on loan with Craig Gordon on his way to Hearts after getting the option of first-team football. Needing a new keeper, Peter Lawwell swooped for Vasilis Barkers at the start of a series of disastrous moves that saw Celtic end the season empty-handed. I had actually spoken to Celtic the year before. It was something they decided, at the top, there was no resell in me so they didn't want to take me on to have no resell in me doing well. If I did well great, but they didn't gain anything from it. It never got started but it was something I was open to and then Tottenham. I got put in contact with Angie, Postacogla, here to have a conversation. They were quite sheepish in approaching it. They had actually spoken to Tottenham but I wasn't having conversations with the hierarchy. I made it very clear I was very unimpressed with how they were behaving so they would get me from a professional point of view but they would certainly not get a friendly conversation from me or anything other than a respectful good morning. It was a bit of an awkward conversation. I knew Celtic had called anyway I was like I know they have called and they said well we would be okay with you talking to them. I was like alright, cool cheers. I said, look I am going to have a conversation but I am going to be completely honest about football and how I see life and how I see things, I would love to talk to him. I thought it was amazing that a club like Celtic wanted to have a conversation with me. I didn't know who he was. Not many people did. I got on the phone and he was like hi Joe how are you? I just went look this probably seems a bit full on what I am about to say but I need to say it for you to get a clear understanding of where I am at and who I am. You need to be really clear if you want to pursue this with me saying what I am going to say. If you don't I won't take offence but this is what I feel I require to bring something to the table for you. I explained the situation. I said look I am the kind of guy who gives everything that I have got and I feel like that has not gotten me anywhere so far but I am not willing to give up on my principles. I am the kind of guy who needs love, I like to feel appreciation for what I am doing, I like to be a huge part of the dressing room, I like to help. I like to work with managers and I don't like to work against people and I like to be backed. If that is not something you feel you can give to me then it is absolutely not an issue. Trust me, I have had worse things said to me. He said, look I have not even asked anyone about you as a goalkeeper. I know what you are like as a goalkeeper. You can go in goal. I have done a bit of research on you as a person, had some good references and now I have had this conversation with you I am going to pursue it. I said, right okay, well keep me updated. A few things happened, they got knocked out of Champions League qualification. 
It wasn't going quite right and Celtic were actually in a bit of dismay at the start of the season. Then however things accelerated. There was never a conversation to be had. Money. No conversations to be had. I was either coming to do something properly, whatever that may be, or I wasn't. It turned out that it was an I have. This is what I have done and I have loved being here. I have to say, at the time I thought while Celtic getting Joe was a steal, and dropping down to 15k per week has to be one of the best deals Celtic have ever done. We all knew Peter and Co. would only buy players they could sell on. I'm glad he's here, he has been amazing for us. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.